Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Oh boy, you know, this dude right here, um, Mark Zuckerberg, him and Facebook, and that's why I mean I I think it's been about a good year, a little over a year since I've been on Facebook. Um, because I mean, they're just such a racist platform. I realized that when they put a whole bunch of marks and told me I um, was putting out inaccurate information because I said Donald Trump's father was a Ku Klux Klan member. And I'm like, what? That's common knowledge. Everybody knows that Fred Trump was a Klan member. And so um, I said to myself, but yet and still, Donald Trump is allowed to run amok on Facebook, okay? So I, it started turning me off. And so I never did join Instagram. And I know that Mark Zuckerberg is the owner of both platforms. But what, what, what I find extremely alarming, extremely alarming um, is this. Um, I mean, it's just extremely, extremely, extremely alarming. Hold on, y'all. Oh, uh, this is my brother. So, um, what I found, I found something very disturbing, and I want to share this article with you. Facebook management ignored internal research showing bias, racial bias, current and former employees say. Okay? Hold on, you guys. Ali, I'm going to call you right back. Okay. Now, in mid-2019, Researchers at Facebook began studying a new set of rules proposed for the automated system that Instagram uses to remove accounts for bullying and other infractions. What they found was alarming. Users on Facebook own Instagram in the United States whose activity on the app suggested they were black were about 50% more likely under the new rules to have their accounts automatically disabled by the moderation system that than those whose activity indicated that they were white, according to two current employees and one former employee who all spoke on the condition of anonymity because they weren't authorized to talk to the media. Now, y'all hear this? See, that Zuckerberg uh, dude. Anyway, the findings were echoed in interviews with Facebook and Instagram users who said they felt that the platform's moderation practices were discriminatory. The researchers took their findings to their superiors, expecting that it would prompt managers to squash the changes. Instead, they were told not to share their findings with co-workers or conduct any further research into racial bias in Instagram automated account removal system. Instagram ended up implementing a slightly different version of the new rules, but declined to let the researchers test the new version. I mean, and... Black folks use these platforms so much. In fact, I wish I had the data right here, but I can assure you that we use these platforms much more than white people. It was an episode that frustrated employees who wanted to reduce racial bias on the platform, but one that they said did not surprise them. Facebook management has repeatedly ignored and suppressed internal research showing racial bias in a way that the platform removes content, according to eight current and former employees, all of whom requested 
anonymity, excuse me, anonymity uh, to discuss internal Facebook business. The lack of action on this issue from the management has contributed to a growing sense among the Facebook employees that a small inner circle of senior executives, including this bitch, Mark Zuckerberg, Chief Operating Officer Shell Sandbag, Nick Clegg, Vice President of Global Affairs and Communications, and Joel Kaplan, Vice President of Global Public Policies. They are making decisions that run counter to the recommendations of subject matter experts and researchers below them, particularly around hate speech, violence, and racial bias, the employees said. The only person that can do that is Donald Trump. Facebook did not deny that some researchers were told to stop exploring racial bias but said that it was because the methodology used was flawed. Alex Schultz, Facebook's vice president of growth and analytics, said research and analysis on race are important to Facebook, but it's very charged, it's a very charged topic. So he needs so it needs to be done in a rigorous standardized way across the company. Yeah, court, unless it's Donald Trump, of course. There will be people who are upset with the speed that we are taking, he said, adding that we've massively increased our investment in, in, stunning, in, in understanding hate speech and the algorithmic bias. We are actively investigating how to measure and analyze Internet products along race and ethnic lines responsibly and in partnership with other companies. Facebook spokesperson Carolyn Glanville added, um, uh, 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 noting that the company had established a team of experts last year called Responsible Al, focused on understanding fairness and inclusion concerns related to the deployment of artificial intelligence in the Facebook products. Artificial intelligence. One key source of tension for Facebook comes from the way its automated system moderates hate speech. Okay. And I don't like the fact that they knock my subscribers and the people who were subscribed to me, they knock them off, uh, uh, dismiss their notifications. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, Facebook has policies prohibiting hate speech that attacks people based on protected characteristics such as race, ethnicity, religion, gender, or sexual orientation. It replies on reports and, and automated content moderation tools to identify and remove such speech. In an effort to be neutral, the company's hate speech policies treat attacks on white people or men in exactly the same way it treats comments about black people or women, an approach that employees said does not take into account the historical content of racism and oppression. The world treats black people differently from white people, one employee said. If we are treating everyone the same, then we are already making choices on the wrong side of history. Employees said that this policy means the company automated content moderation tools proactively detect far more hate speech targeting white people than it does uh, hate speech targeting black people. Even if the hate speech targeted at black people is widely considered more offensive. A hypothesis supported by academics and the company's own internal research. The company has conducted internal research that shows that Facebook users in the United States from both sides of the political spectrum find attacks against traditionally marginalized groups, including black and Hispanic people, to be more upsetting than attacks against groups that have not traditionally been marginalized, including men and white people, even when the same type of language is used. So, white people are trash is generally considered less offensive than 
black people are scum. But Facebook policies treat them the same. Data presented at Facebook policy meetings, including one attended by Vanity Fair in 2018, shows that users are more upset by attacks against women than they are about attacks against men. What? 